Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Prospects and Show One. My name is Chris, and today I'm going to be taking you guys through a little bit of Sage Surat tape. So he is a third year sophomore from Wake Forest, listed unofficially in Mark's database at 62220. Uh, and the main reason I'm watching him is there's already tape from 2019 up on him. Uh, Mark has him as a UDFA, but I'm going to make my own judgments here. Uh, and I'm really interested to see this Utah State tape. But for now, I kind of want to see where he was at last year first, so we can kind of get a feel for if there's any year-over-year -year improvement and all that kind of good stuff, too. So the first game that we're actually going to watch here instead is this NC State tape from last year. Uh, but I'm kind of excited that there's already 2019 tape out on him. And that's generally a good thing, because most of the players that have tape out already a week one are pretty notable worthwhile players to watch so uh, that should be pretty interesting to see uh, in a little while here but in this game he will be number 14 and I'm pretty sure he typically lines up outside especially given his size So I came from down here at the bottom. Yes. No, false start. Okay. Show the game. Probably him once again at the bottom. Looks like it. Unfortunately, this is another one of those, but it's kind of hard to tell. Once again, let's be at the bottom of the screen. He does seem active at the line, which is really nice. It's the third or fourth straight snap that he's gotten really nice jump off the ball. Bottom of the screen blocking kind of got chopped off a little bit, unfortunately. Once again, bottom of the screen here. Okay, don't know why he didn't take the... I think he was supposed to take the linebacker, but didn't get there quick enough. Alright. Interesting. Oh, they're leaving him open here on a third and four. I don't know what route this is going to be based on that quick a look, but honestly, if he turned here. Okay, that's a good. Because, yeah, they left him wide open with the blitzing corner outside of the safety. It was way off. Honestly, that's not the best play call by NC State, in my opinion. Nice. Broke a tackle. Looked to be a hands catch from that angle as well, which is nice. Like to see that. Guy running here. He's the guy online. Nice use of the hands. I couldn't exactly see what the hand movement was, but. Interruption attack. Also, good uh, field awareness as well. Getting past the first down marker. Sick. Bottom of the screen. Again, nice jump. Pretty sure he's the guy at the bottom again. That's where he's been pretty consistently lined up. 
was, oh, almost caught that. Okay, so I don't really know how he ended up on the ground, if that was his decision. My guess is it's not. And he got pushed right here. Like the effort, I guess. Bottom of the screen. Nice smooth cut. Great diff or great contested catch. So far flashing hands, which is really nice to see. Should be bottom of the screen again here. Oh, it jumped. It should be off sides, I think. Oh, again, full start. Should be here. Yep. Nice smooth out, out route. It was. And again, you should see the hands flash. Oh, just a, oh, that was a really nicely executed round cut. And yeah. Catches with the hand and sprints again. Nicely done. Bottom of the screen once again. Seems to be lining up in the same spot pretty consistently. So not entirely sure about the versatility aspect. But that's always something that could be offensive schematic as well. Kind of hard to judge player for that. Especially receiver. Okay. Is that supposed to be a streak and he underthrew? I don't exactly know what that was supposed to. I'm not going to judge it based on what could have easily been broken play. Bottom of the screen, I want to say. Oh, no, that's him that makes the catch, actually, here. So he's going to be this middle guy here. And simple slant route. But nice contested catch. He's been doing really nice in that particular area in this game. Maybe the guy at the top? It was, and he somehow caught that. I like how he uses that subtle movement to the outside here to get to the boundary and kind of take that leverage right here. He's going to kind of just move a little bit slightly to the inside, or to the outside rather. And doesn't really create a whole lot of separation, particularly with the hands or arms. But he's still able to track the ball incredibly well uh, and make a nice catch. So definitely some, something that's been one of his better traits that he's been able to show off is that contested catch ability. And honestly, he's kind of grabbed a hold of the arm. Oh, one-hander. Wow, okay. Even more impressive. Ball never hit the ground, completes the process. Great work. Oh, another catch by number one. Wow. But yeah, number 15 was pretty engaged with that right arm. One-handed catch. Really nice job there. Contested. He's been doing really well with these contested catches. That's been the standout for me. Bottom of the screen here. Nice use of the angle. I really like how he, he takes this angle here. Swears himself up very nicely here. And boom, right on target to knock him away from the play. Excellent. Same thing. He kind of gets big at the end a little bit, but whatever. 
I still like the process here of ganging himself in position and just a little bit off. And very end. Yeah, I'm a big deal, of course. Nice solid possession catch. So he's. Oh, that was a little bit of a push off, actually. That probably could have been called. Right there, he's got boom, and then he pushes off a little bit. So, they didn't though, and that's actually good use of the hands to separate, so props to him for that. And yeah, nice possession catch. Boom. And yeah, there's a good look. Actually, that didn't look too much like a push off. Create that space. Oh, nice double move. He's going to come with that inside uh, drag slant type release here to start. And then he's going to go right back outside. Took a little too long to develop, but that's more on, on the play call than the receiver. Bottom of the screen here. Again, I believe. Nice slant release. This protection is not holding up well. That's bottom of the screen once again. I don't know why they're running it so much in the fourth quarter down by two scores, but okay. Oh, almost. Are you going to show us a replay of that or no? They are. Excellent. Okay. I like the ball tracking. He does a pretty good job here in terms of uh, tracking the ball and going up for it. I like the aggressiveness as well. He does a great job of getting his hands up. Just kind of gives away the positioning of the ball a little bit uh, to the corner, which allows him to get away with not turning his head. But I don't think that was so much an issue with the actual catching. Uh, yeah, I don't think that was an issue so much with the actual catching technique. He does a good job of getting the hands up. And times they jump pretty nicely. Just goes away the position of the ball a bit too, too much. Should be at the bottom of the screen again. Third and two, I watch for a slant or screen of some kind. Or pick play. That works too. Should be him right here. Might be at the top of this play. Okay, well, another thing to you note know, too, clutch drive, don't really get the chance to point that out outside of quarterbacks, but that's something that might be worth mentioning. Oh, nope, he was at the top. And, yep, first target, down by three with the minute you have to go, right to him. And look at the separation, right? He's doing a really nice job of creating that gap between him and the defender pretty consistently, to be honest. Since the since the second half started, he's done a pretty good job with that. First half, he kind of had to make a couple contested plays. Same exact play call. At least same exact concept with him. With that curl route out, that outside curl. Ooh, nice play. I think he's this guy here, actually. Oh, oh, he 
Mr. Okay. Uh, same formation but flipped. Except I think he's the guy in ISO at this point. A little bit of a C route. I think that's him at the top. Also in this half, he's been lining up a lot more on both sides of the play, which has been nice. Oh, nice catch by number three. You can see the adjustments that the Wake Forest offensive coordinator was able to make at halftime. And they seem to be paying off. NC State's 14th at this point, uh, ranking-wise. And... They definitely look much more efficient offensively. That's props to good coaching. You probably should have caught that. I do like his feel for space. Does a nice job turning inside here against that zone. He had a ton of room to work. That quarterback should have learned about field. I actually do think he caught that too. So that was definitely more on the quarterback than him. I don't think that hit the ground. That should be a catch. I'm not entirely sure that hit the ground. I would overturn that. It looks like it's between his armies. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't think that's enough to overturn. Yeah. Okay. But still, regardless, uh, definitely should have been let up field. I, again, still placed that more on the quarterback. Nice, get the first step. Oh, he scored. Wow, I wonder if they ended up winning that game. But yeah, overall, uh, actually really nice. Uh, I found a lot of positive traits that stood out in that particular game, which was nice to see. And now we get to see if he's improved or at least kept up some of those same positives. Oh my gosh, 17 minutes uh, since last season. Ah, yes, the circle. The one thing I would like to see a little bit more of is actual route running when you with the legs. Uh, like, we got to see, I think by this point, the, the Jalen Rieger tape breakdown should be up. I kind of like to see a little bit more of what that kind of mold, a little bit more of the elusive, hard-cut route running. concept that time didn't really stinger himself as well last game we saw he did a nice job of, of aligning himself this game he probably should have opened up a little bit more uh, from the inside out to get the angle on him didn't end up mattering too much on that play but playing him way off which is interesting Especially for a defense that's aggressive, as aggressive downhill as Utah State is. Or at least was last year. I don't know if they kept the same DC. Looks like a target to him. Nice. So fought through the pass interference that they're going to call, or the hold, probably. Nice ball tracking. Simple hands catch. 
doing his shot. Love it. Okay. That was the first drive of the game, I think, too. On offense. Good start to the season for him. Nice hands catch. Love to see that. There we go, that time he does a little bit better than the first step of getting himself in front of his guy and stingering. Cut? Nope. I'm fine. Oh. Nice motor. Good job playing through the whistle. Oh, that was a nice cut. There we go, that's what I want to see a little bit more of from him. Right here at the top of the screen, beautiful slant. Excellent. They're running him on a lot of curl routes. Oh man, he just got totally... Okay, I, he initiated contact, so I guess it's kind of fair. Oh my goodness. They're running him on a lot of straight stems, whether that be curls, hitches, goes. Nice inside release move. We're going outside the very next play. So it definitely has an understanding and feel for leverage and positioning, which is good. Well defended. Outside. Outside. Same thing. Probably want to see one that outside. They're playing him inside. Which is actually quite interesting. They're giving him the boundary. Oh, God, tap it better. Same thing. That I don't know. If, I'm guessing at this point that's by design. They really need to do a better job of defending that boundary against him. Big. Oh no, block. Okay. Nice feel for space on that route. Again, pretty nice feel for space, timing that cut very nicely. Oh, that was a nice cut. He's definitely shown some improvement since last year in that particular area. Oh, that was nice too. See how much more separation he was able to generate with, with that nice quick cut? Uh, the pick helps a little bit, to be fair. But uh, he definitely frees himself up a little bit easier with the cut, and that's Definitely pass interference to me. Or at least very easily could have been called pass interference. I think that was catchable, but whatever. Slots. Yes. 
again, nice, pretty good cut there. Another pro route. So, basically, I guess what I'm trying to say in terms of his route running is more so that I want to see more of a tree, right? We're seeing mostly those uh, stretch routes, curls, hitches, streaks. Plays like start, and there's another curl route. Plays like start going just straight down the field. There's a nice round slant. You see those every once in a while, too. Uh, but not really seeing a lot of hard ends, not really seeing a lot of hard outs, not really seeing a lot of like screens even necessarily. I think as well his uh, the ball in his hands in space. There we go. Not even seeing all that many like drag routes or anything like that either, which is interesting. They're really using him to stretch the field. Oh, that was nice. That was a great play call. And well executed as well. Great read by the quarterback. Oh, excellent. Oh, yeah, they read that curl. And that's what happens, right? The same concept. Outside win. They're giving him plenty of space. Very nice to see these things there. Corner blitz. Make a good decision to hand off. Line him up inside. That's interesting. So we're already seeing a little bit more versatility in usage than we did last season. Yeah, again, a run play, but... Oh, nice day. Slant, good high fake at the beginning of the route. Another curl, yep. So, mostly route variance is probably the, the one thing that I think is going to be the biggest issue for him. But that was nice. Round again. Uh, yeah, that's the one thing that I'm probably going to mark him down the heaviest for in terms of actual grading. Boom, nice hard slant. Oh, that was a terrible throw. Waste of a good route, too. But yeah, and it's not like he doesn't have the potential to, to develop these routes, right? We've seen him on the last play, he just ran a nice around the in route. And on this play, he's going to run a nice hard slant. Five yard slant, boom. Just nice, simple, hard cut. So it's not that he doesn't have the potential, he, he knows the different variances of, of routes and cuts, he just doesn't really get the chance to utilize those variances of routes. So offensive play calling will change that to some degree uh, once he gets to pro level and has to learn and develop some of those other routes. But Another thing that we haven't really seen after seeing that play is we haven't really seen him get the ball a lot in space. I wonder if that's athletic related. I would guess and not because he seems to do a pretty decent job of getting burst off the line, like we see right there. And they seem to like to utilize him down the field, which is probably the main reason for that. And 
another curl route, right? Oh, there we get to see a little bit. There we get to see a lot after the catch. Okay, just as I talk about that. So, yeah, even in that particular area, he has quite a bit of potential. He just, if he doesn't run curl routes against soft coverage, it, another one right back at him. They're just beating him with these curl routes every day, man. Same exact, the same exact play. Oh, he makes the guy miss this time. That's the, what, the fourth straight play that they ran a curl route? And that's like the third time in a row they've targeted him? At this point, I don't know why Utah State hasn't adjusted. Are you going to see another one? Nope, it's that first. One, read, nice bursts. Nice soft in. And, oh, that's a great concept. Rounded slant. Oh, good stuff by Utah State. Good position, great finish. Helps bring a touchdown. Excellent. Nice out release there. Pro route, yep. Oh, now that was an out release there as well. Same concept as the previous play. Oh, that play was. Top of the screen. Okay. Getting at the top of the screen. Again, once more at the top. Again, once again at the top. Blocking potential here, maybe? Nope. Shoveling boundary. Oh, well, I like that second second gear. He has a really nice shot here. Bam! Right at the fifty of hitting the second gear. So he's gonna get off a little bit slower at the line than normal. Probably because he's trying to get a fake move here. And kind of stutters, and then right here he's going to uh, kind of, I don't want to say halt, but he's kind of going to stop and stutter a little bit, and then he's going to bam, he's going to second gear. Love that. Same thing, nice hard slant. Nice hard out. Boom. Good quick release move. Ooh. Off the fingers. I didn't look like a drop on him, did it? That looked a little too high to me. Ok, 
Okay, another clutch situation here. Nice pass. Nice contested catch, great run after catch. You had to see a little bit of the speed and space there as well, and I think he actually got in. He did. Oh, that is awesome. So, again, the clutch situation factor comes in. He's, both of these games, he's done really well uh, in the clutch, which is fantastic to see. But yeah, you get to see that nice run after the catch at athleticism in space, uh, making the first guy miss. You get to see the hands and the contested catch. I don't think he was down. Uh, no, I don't think that knee ever touched. You can roll down. Oh, wow. Okay. Still, doesn't really take away from that play at all. He still had an incredible catch. Boom, and this time, right, doesn't give the position of the ball away as much. It those hands up a little bit sooner. He jumps a little bit sooner as well. Remember that play in the last game uh, in the red zone. He kind of gave away that position of the ball this game. He doesn't do that. So that's a nice improvement there. And again, excellent hands. Get to see those hands flash right there. Contested situation. Boom. Finishes them. Very strong. And he gets down the field. Great play. Go right back to him here. Gonna be at the top. I so. Yep, this is perfect bait spot. Just throw it right to him back shoulder in the corner. Or run it. Into a stat box. Right here. And obviously this is a run play, especially because it's blocking. I would throw a fade. To be completely honest. Especially on third and goal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's a ref. That guy could easily come up. And if you have as many as eight guys in the box, throw a fade. That's nice single coverage. That guy's not getting there in time. Oh. That's why Daryl Bevel didn't run on the one. <laughs> oh, there we go. Nice slant. Now, if he's going to come across here, that's an easy touchdown. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, the guy's open too. Interesting decision, but it worked. Wow, okay. So, I was actually pretty impressed. Uh, with what we were able to see from him, which is a good thing. Uh, I really like what he was able to show in both of those games. Uh, he definitely showed a lot of positive traits and skills, and we're about to go over some of those with you guys in just a second. But the first one is going to be hands and contest to catching. And I'm going to go with a 9 uh, on this one. For those of you guys who this is your first video, I go on a... I'm starting off with a 5 to 10 scale, uh, but eventually that will go to 0 to 10, well, 1 to 10, because I won't give zeros. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a 1 to 10 scale, and basically like 5 is day 3, uh, 7 is day 2, 8 is day 1 kind of thing, 6 is like the third round, right? Yeah, and 6 is the third round, 7 is like the second round. Uh, it is like first round and 9 to 10 is blue chip. Oops, wrong thing. So, yeah, I'm about to go to the bottom here, add his name to my list. 
from Wake Forest. And yeah, I'm gonna go with the nine. We got to see a lot of nice contested catches. He did a great job with the hands, especially. So uh, it's very hard to get a time for me for receivers. Only one guy hasn't been able to do that so far. Uh, and yeah, I tend to be very strict about that. So Kenny Young is very good. Uh, athleticism didn't really get to see a lot of agility and quickness. So I'm not sure how his like three cone and shuttle are gonna be, but. Overall, I still feel pretty confident with this speed, especially the ability to stretch the field. Uh, I'm going to go with an 8 for that. Short threat, we got to see those slants and things like that. So I'm going to go with a 7 to start. Uh, kind of would like to see a little bit more drags, a little bit of screen usage as well, uh, just to get the ball in space a little bit more. Mid threat, we did not really get to see a ton of intermediate routes. I think he ran a couple of like short ends. So I'm only going to go with a six in that particular area. I would like to see more over the field, over the middle of the field, and in that like 10 to 15 yard range, outside of the curls, of course. But the curls I'll consider deep, uh, since those are about eight to 10 yards. And uh, I'm going to go with nine for that as well. Route running. And I talked about this a few minutes ago earlier in the video. Uh, I really wanted to see more in terms of route variants, but the routes that he did show are pretty good. So with that in mind, I'm going to go with an 8 in that particular area for now. Going after the catch, same thing. He didn't really get the chance to show a lot after the catch, because for the most part, they were playing the girls against soft zone. So, but on the other hand, he did show some of those route going after catch traits. He finishes, he's able to keep with the motor and the athleticism to make plays after the catch. We didn't really get to see a ton of screens though either. So for now, I think I'm going to go with a 7. That might be a little harsh and I plan on revisiting that later on in the year, but that's kind of where I'm at right now. Release from this thing is shot bearing inside out, but we didn't really get to see a whole lot of hand usage. So with that in mind, I'm going to go with an 8 for now. Motor and blocking. Um... I like the motor, at least. I'm going to go with a 9. Uh, he showed a lot in blocking. He just wasn't 100% there yet. And that's kind of where I'm looking forward to give a 10. Uh, is near perfection. So, I'm going to go with a 9 for that particular area. The zone awareness, the other thing that we didn't really get to see a ton of. Uh, because they were, again, mainly lining him up with soft man or soft zone against those curls. Uh, with those crew rats on the boundary, and he didn't really get the chance to find a whole lot of space because he was running out uh, toward the boundary. So, I do like what he was able to do, though, and I do like where he was uh, kind of dividing up his routes and making his cuts. So, with that in mind, I'm going to go with an 8 for now, uh, which gives us out to a even plus 1, minus 2, minus 3, plus 1. That balances out to a 78, which is a high second round grade. So, with that in mind, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one, learned a thing or two. Don't forget to like, subscribe for more content like this in the future. We also have a Twitter, a Facebook, and Instagram page as well for those of you guys who have uh, accounts on those particular platforms. So, give us a, a follow if you like on those. But for now, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Uh, peace out.